morning, happy Tuesday. Today is day two of classroom setup. If you haven't seen day one, definitely check it out. I will have it linked down below. And if you're new, definitely hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my teaching and lifestyle related videos. I'm going to be a third year fifth grade teacher. Yesterday, we pretty much got the necessities done. Everything has a place for the most part. Today, I'm hoping to kind of just organize and really focus in on getting everything complete and feeling clean and calm. I am gonna head to Starbucks this morning. It is a double stars day and they changed it so that you actually have to go on the app and activate double star day, which is like so dumb. I didn't get Starbucks yesterday, so I figured I would treat myself today, even though I literally get myself Starbucks whenever I feel like it. We are gonna go to Starbucks and I will see you when I'm in my classroom. Got my Starbs, we are in my classroom. I'm just happy that the read letters didn't fall. I grabbed my laptop. Um, we have to like turn it in at the end of the year. So I have my laptop, I'm gonna print some stuff. And I'm also going to completely take out everything from my desk and organize it so that I feel complete and organized. Okay, so this is everything that was inside these two drawers of my desk. I'm going to clean out these drawers because they're a little gross and then put everything back neatly. And then I still have to do this drawer, my file cabinets. Um, and then like behind my desk is already pretty organized, but I can still work on that. Okay, so I just cleaned out these drawers and we're gonna put everything back in. So this one just has my hole punchers, um, easy grader and notepads. And this one has my snacks, like electronic stuff. I really cleared this out. I put any stuff that I didn't use in my cabinet in the hallway, like the stuff that belongs to the school. Um, and then everything else I just kept in here. So it's really bare, which I love. Okay, so I have all of these labels taped and I'm taking off the little um, knobs from the cart and I'm taking them off. I'm just putting the labels on there. the finished look I think it's so cute everything that is listed here is stuff that they will actually use throughout the year so I'm really excited that this cart will be used on a daily basis okay, I just finished a little side project that is so cute and I obviously have to block their faces and their names but I wanted to show you just put the little border on the side of my file cabinet and then I put all of my Hall of Fame kids. So like the first row is from my first year. The second row is from my second year last year. And then I have room for like one more and then maybe I'll like continue on the side. My Hall of Fame is my first year I did it for ST Math. So the kids who hit I think at least a thousand puzzles or something like that. And then last year I did my Hall of Fame for Alexia and that's what I'm gonna keep doing. Um, for whoever hit the most um, units and I picked four. So I think they were in like the 800s or something like that for units for the year. I wanted a cute place to like display them because before I had them like up here on the whiteboard but it wasn't like, I don't know, it was just four random pictures and I wanna put a title that says like Hall of Fame so they know it's something important. <laughs> So I'm trying to put together the consequences posters. I have a positive, a negative one, and my team and I are going to post the same exact posters in all three of our classrooms so that it's consistent. But right now I'm grabbing scissors so that we can open our curriculum boxes. So here's our curriculum. On this one. <laughs> 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 
So my team teacher and I were just talking to my principal and we got a bunch of our supplies that we ordered because we were departmentalizing this year. We got like some extra stuff. I also laminated the negative consequences and positive consequences poster. We have these super nice five pockets um, organizers for each fifth grader so that we could do like take home, reading, writing, science, math, so that if we have any loose papers, they can keep it in here. Also have all of the composition books. Unfortunately, they ordered unruled by accident, so they are literally blank, but for my class, we are just going to be gluing all the anchor charts in here and like things that I print, they're gonna glue it in here. So I just figured I would take these anyway. So at least I have them now because if we order like the lined ones, they don't come in on time, yada, yada. So this is fine because they don't really need the lines. Honestly, they're just gluing stuff in here. So that'll work out for me. So I have 70 of these. Okay, so I just stacked all those composition books in there for now because the kids will be using them in the first couple weeks and once we set them up they'll have it in their um, three drawer carts. Ordered tropical smoothie with my friend Brittany. Actually I should show you guys her classroom. She's moving from second grade down to first grade so she's starting from scratch again. I can also show you Erin's room which is my team teacher. So this is Erin's room. She's doing writing this year. Look how cute this bulletin board is. It's this looking is good. Long. This is like basically the main thing I'm changing. Everything else is just like organization stuff and like yep. layout and that So I hung up the positive and negative consequence posters. We're all going to have these in our classrooms in fifth grade. So my camera was charging because my camera died. And the room is like 99.9% .9 done. So I'm going to give you guys a little tour. Right now the lights are shut off. I'll see if it's too dark. But everything is basically where it's going to be. I'm not going to come in tomorrow. So this is going to be the last classroom setup vlog. There's a few things I need to do next week when I come in. But it can wait. I turned on the lights. So when you first walk in, you have these rugs, doormat, on these cabinets, I have my figurative language posters. I have masks in there. I'm not sure if like students are going to choose to wear masks still, so I just have some in there if they choose to wear one. Consequence posters over here on those cabinets. Supplies that students are not going to touch over here. Guided reading leveled readers composition books and stuff for like the first week of school. Over here is my small group area, so I have a kidney table, my Ikea stools, um, and just some like organizers because I feel like there's always so much stuff and since I'm gonna have three classes now, just a lot of different kids, a lot of different groups, so I figured I could do each drawer could be like a different group, like that could be block one, block two, block three, however it works out. And then I also found a cute little spot for the lamp since there's an outlet over there and I figured if these lights are off, I could just have the lamp on. Hand signals are over there, whiteboard table, um, all of this is stuff I have to deal with next week. It's mostly just kind of organizing it. Um, and putting it where it needs to go, but I just wanted all of it together in one area so it makes it easier. 40 book challenge trackers, schedule, voice level, early finishers, bathroom sign. When we're doing whole group, we flip it over to bathroom and drinks are closed, and then the rest of the time it's open. Rug and pillow, front board. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you guys the desks. So these are the groups, there's six groups. Um, each has a group caddy for supplies and then a three drawer cart for their books that we're gonna be getting from the curriculum. Um, each group has highlighters, pencils, and erasers. My sister did that yesterday um, and she took it upon herself to color code each one. So that has like yellow, green, blue, pink, orange, and purple. Um, so I think the groups are looking pretty good. Over here we have the window seat with the new read letters I put up yesterday. New pillows. The library, which is covered. They get to uncover it on the fifth day of fifth grade. So that's exciting. 
this group is definitely very close to this stuff. I can push them up a little bit though. There's plenty of room right there. So I should do that. I need to fill this with like back to school read alouds, but I will do that um, like during our PD days next week. Back here we have the student center, which has my homeroom mailboxes, three turn-in bins for all three classes. I just put that never give up sign there. It was like really hard to keep it up. So I just used three of these things. It makes it look kind of ugly, but I think it's gonna stay there for now. The student center with all the labels. I still have to fill in a few different things that I will get done next week. Pencils, erasers, glue sticks. And then kind of like our schedule every day so that they know. And then this wall is gonna be all of our inter-reading stuff. So I just set it up for module one. And then that's all the science stuff. So that's unit one. Positive affirmation mirror. TV is over there now. Rug for more smart spot options. I think I pretty much went over everything. Oh, and behind my desk, I definitely simplified. I'm really excited. Um, so I have all my inter-reading stuff in the middle two um, shelves. This is kind of just like general stuff for me. I got rid of most of my binders because everything is in my happy planner now. So I have like grades, parent contact, um, notes, attendance, and those were like all the binders I had. So I was able to downsize on those and I just have a binder for my standards now. Like I said, all the inter-reading curriculum. And then over here, I organized some paper so that I could empty out the cart that is now right there. I emptied it out so it could go for my guided reading area. So I just have some colorful paper, um, a science container, empty, empty, my mini fridge, my teacher toolbox. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it right now. I like it nice and clean and organized, as you know. And then over here, I can't show you too much, but it has my name just like last year. And then I have a new fresh calendar. And then below that, I have pictures from previous school years, so I can't show those. So also on my desk, well, like on top of my filing cabinet, I have these stacking trays. I think I'm gonna organize these for things I need to grade. So once they turn it into the turn-in bin, I will bring them over here. It'll be like block one, two, and three so that they can have a space so that that doesn't like pile up too much. And then on top, I might actually keep it like this. It just has like my go-to um, remotes and stuff and like tickets. So I think I'll do that. This I am gonna attach to my lanyard. That's pretty much my desk area. Here's a little overview from this angle. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so that is it for classroom setup for this school year. I know it's only two vlogs, um, but it's just gonna get quicker and quicker every year, I feel like. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in my next video.